Hello, welcome. In this video, I'll be talking about how to cross out incorrect answer choices in the patent bar exam. My name is Casey Shaw. I am a technologist and an attorney at law admitted with the State Bar of California. I have also passed the patent bar exam and I would like to share my experience and knowledge with you in helping you prepare and pass this very difficult exam. Now the patent bar exam is uh, required to become a patent attorney as well as patent agent in the United States. Uh, patent bar exam is conducted by USPTO, that is United States Patent and Trademark Offices. The exam, it, it's administered by USPTO but is delivered by the Prometrics testing centers across the country in the United States. Now, I, I'll be honest, uh, this is one of the hardest exams that I have taken and passed. Um, and I say that with uh, a lot of sincerity because I've taken over a 25 uh, certification and licensing exams over my career. I've taken and passed those over my career. So I think uh, this exam is ranks right up at the top of my list of hard exams that I have ever taken. So what exactly is crossing out incorrect answer choices feature? Well, it, the crossing out incorrect answer choices feature is very similar to how we use that in the word processor. For example, in a word processor, if you want to cross something out, we select that text and then we change the font to, to strike through that or we select strike through that font and that uh, you can see that the, the text has been now uh, struck through uh, and then you can still read a part of the text. So that's the whole point of uh, the crossing out in the patent bar. Essentially strikes through the selected text. You can still read it, but you know that it's uh, sort of uh, out of contention at this point for you. Uh, why is it a big deal? Well. The patent bar is delivered by Prometric testing facilities, which are pretty locked down. The computers are pretty locked down, so you don't have access to word processor or operating system as such. So having this capability available inside the testing software is important, um, and we should take advantage of it. I strongly recommend that you use this feature for each and every question, all 100 questions in the patent bar, so that you feel comfortable, you feel confident about your answers, and you do, don't get distracted by the actual distractors uh, inside the answer choices. So now let's talk about how does this crossing out feature work. So as I uh, alluded earlier, you can highlight any text within the answer choice area. Now you cannot select anything in the question uh, up to the call of the question, but this only applies to the answer selection into the question, up to the call of the question, you can do highlighting but not crossing out. And then you simply right click. So you select uh, any text. You don't have to select the whole answer choice. Say, say for example, you want to strike out B, you don't have to select the entire, uh, all the text in answer choice B. You just put your uh, mouse, position your mouse on any one word in answer choice B. You right click it and it is discarded it is uh, uh, it's crossed out that choice is crossed out again you can still read underneath it but it sort of uh, is crossed out for you uh, so uh, you can uh, now now what happens if you are unsure or you change your mind if you change your mind you can uncross out by the same method by right clicking it so it's a toggle switch if you will one time right click would cross it out another time uh, if you right click it's gonna bring it back into contention so uh, really easy to use uh, but it's important that you use it now when do i recommend using this feature to you because there are three situations that i would like you to recommend i would like to recommend that you use that uh, when the first one is when you're absolutely sure that the answer choice is incorrect in that situation by all means right click and strike it through cross it out so it's out of your mind it's not distracting you anymore as a potential answer 
Now, number two here, when you're considering two close choices, let's say you have, you're not too sure, it's, you know, what is the right answer? My suggestion there is try to cross out one of them and then see, read the whole question, call up the question and then the answer and see if it makes sense. If it doesn't, um, then reverse it, see if that makes sense. So you have to play around with it. And if you're not certain, then leave both of them uncrossed out. That way you know that you know, you're not totally certain and you still have to uh, work through it. So when you have time towards the end of your um, end of your exam, um, towards the end of your uh, session uh, for three hours, you can go back to those questions and you can see that Hey, you know, these are crossed out, you're pretty comfortable, but others not crossed out choices, you still need to work on those. Uh, and what I suggest here, number three, uh, in number three is that always cross out answers other than the correct answer. So in the end, you should have uh, three or four uh, crossed out answers. So if they're A, B, C, D, and E, you should have four crossed out, only one remaining that A, B, C, D, you cross out three and have only one remaining as the right answer, and that would still be well. And now, when do I recommend not to use it? So when you are not absolutely or substantially certain, right, that, yeah, this is right, this is incorrect choice. If you are doubting it, right, if you are less than 75% sure, then you got to leave it, uh, leave it in play because, you know, you may, run into another question which will then give you answer to that or you may look up uh, MPAP later on in your exam session and that may help you find the answer. If you cross it out half-heartedly then you less likely to search for it and, and, and make that an answer. So be careful there. In conclusion, what do I say? Uh, you must take advantage of this uh, cross-out feature. It is a big deal. It's not a big deal on our day-to-day -day life on a normal uh, Windows or Mac computers, but it is a big deal that this capability is available inside Pro Metric Testing Center for the patent bar exam. Take advantage of it. Uh, it will avoid the distractions. Examiners are very good at writing these dis distractions into the question uh, answer choices. So your job is to find those distractors and right click them and get them out of your mind and get them out of the contention so you can focus on close choices and eventually find the right answer. Well, go ahead and uh, try that uh, when you take the exam and good luck with that. Go get them. Say hello to your future IP law career. Uh, visit us at www.hellobarprep.com. Thank you very much.